I like how my Wi-Fi decides it wants to fucking act up now. So, <laughs> a cute girl confessed her feelings to me. Um, this this happened on Valentine's Day, um, and it was the first time something like this had ever happened to me. Uh, but sorry to those who think it happened recently. Sh shit, I wish. But no, uh, it, it happened five years ago. It happened back when I was in high school, my freshman year. So before high school, I really didn't have any luck with women, and rightfully so. I was unattractive, and I really didn't have anything going for me. And also, I went to a mostly boys high school in eighth grade. But once I got to high school, something suddenly changed. I don't know, it was like a, a spell had gotten casted over me because I started getting more attention. I was getting glares from girls and I was overhearing them when they told their friends that I was cute. I didn't know what the hell happened, but I liked it. <laughs> I got a huge confidence boost from it and I, I started to think that I was attractive. Do I think I was attractive freshman year? No. Do I think I'm attractive now? Yes. So my first hour class was uh, physical science, I, I think. And it was the smallest class I ever had of just four people. So the girl was in this class. Um, we'll call her Akame for privacy reasons. She was a cute black girl, which came as a surprise to me because um, no offense to black women, but I really don't find them attractive unless they're in the anime unless they're in the anime then mm. but <laughs> akame was like the only uh black female at the time that i found attractive and pretty much still is well there's also my english teacher and this other girl that i liked uh but you really can't do much with a teacher and the other girl i liked her more for her personality than her looks, so, yeah. Black. Okay, I, I take that back. Um, I got in a huge argument with my friend Mazer over whether I find black women physically attractive or not. He wanted to prove me wrong, so he started sending me different posts from different black chicks' accounts on Instagram. I really wasn't feeling the first few, but then he sent me a post with a chick who had curly hair, and I was like... She kinda bad. But I think the main reason I like her is because she has curly hair. I don't know why, but um, I'm really attracted to women with curly hair. It's just a random preference that I developed last year and that I've just kind of been sticking with. Um, I'm attracted to a lot of different types of women, but but women with curly hair, they just they just kind of they just hit different. <laughs> they just hit different. They just hit different. Yeah, they just they just hit different. So I take back what I said about not finding black women attractive because God knows how many black women have curly hair. It's, it's not really that uncommon. And the way I talk about black women sounds really bad, so I just wanted to say I don't find them ugly or anything. Uh, it's just most of them that I see just simply aren't my type. But yeah, the chick he sent me was bad as fuck. I was pretty sure Akame was into me through hints and context clues and whatnot, just like uh, the other girls that I talked about. But it was just a hunch after all. Uh, there was no real way to tell if she actually liked me without her telling me herself. Fast forward to Valentine's Day and Akame shows up to class wearing a very fine outfit. And uh, it, was, it was so fine, in fact, that she ended up getting in trouble for it because it violated the, the dress code. <laughs> Now, my high school was pretty chill when it came to the dress code. We could pretty much wear anything that we wanted as long as we didn't show too much skin or wear hats or hoods. So you know her outfit had to be out there if she was getting in trouble for it. <laughs> I'm not sure what her top was, but I, I think it was a, a crop top. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really not not that knowledgeable when it comes to women's fashion actually let me 
Let me look it up real quick to make sure it's it's right. Crop top. Uh, okay. Um, it really, it didn't look like, I don't know why I clicked on shopping. It really didn't look like any of the, oh, damn. Um, it really didn't look like any of these. Um, it was, it was kind of something like this, but, uh, it was like shorter. Like it ended like right here instead of like down there. Um, and it was like to the point to where her like entire stomach was sh showing. Um, so yeah, basically something something like that. Fast forward and the teacher gives us some brownies. Uh, I think it was because it was Valentine's Day or she just straight up just gave us brownies for no reason. She, she did that sometimes. Don't worry, it wasn't like weed brownies or anything. <laughs> So I was just chilling when Akame, who sits right in front of me, gets up and turns around and looks at me. And then she leaned in towards me and whispered, I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Killer Queen, Dai San no Bakudan, Bite Out Dust. And then she leaned in towards me and whispered, I like you. Now, Akame was very cute, but um, I was into an upperclassman at the time. So um, I didn't want to date Akame. So I was trying to find a way to turn her down or at least get out of the situation. <laughs> so my dumbass <laughs> just pretended I didn't hear her, and I said, what? <laughs> I had her repeat herself, hoping that she would just give up on trying to confess to me. My friend jumped in, trying to help me out, and he said, hey, I think she wants your brownie. Um, too, I'm assuming, too embarrassed to continue, she just went along with what he said, and um, that was that. <sighs> Honestly, I really hate how I handled the situation. Pretending not to hear her just to get out of the situation was, it was a dick move. I'll just say that. Um, it takes a lot of courage to confess to someone and I feel really bad for not giving her a proper answer. And I also regret not going out with her because absolutely nothing happened between me and the upper class, uh, upper, uh, upper classman I was into. Um, and also because uh, my senior year, I found out that she was into anime because me and the boys caught her in the theater with us when we were watching the. Uh, my hero movie, uh, the second one, I believe, I forgot what it was called. And girls who watch anime are so fucking hot.